So Ellie, we are gonna film a vlog and we're gonna just tell them what we're gonna do. You tired? Oh, she just woke up for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Are you making fun of me? Hey guys. <laughs> I thought I would do a little weekly vlog. What? <laughs> it's Sunday. <laughs> Is it that hilarious? So, I thought I would film a little vlog of like what I do in a week. It's Sunday. I'm at my boyfriend's mom's house. They have some guests over and they're like little boys, little 10 year old boys. So, Innis is like playing with them, Nerf Gun Wars, and I get to spend the whole day with Ellie. Say bye. Bye. Did we just wake up? Ella. Ellie. Good job. Now this one? Now this one? Finally made it home and in time for sunset. Ah, <sighs> but now look what I have to deal with. So, here we go. I think I'm just gonna put all the groceries away, like where they, you know, where they obviously go, and then I'll organize it later. I still need to buy like organizers for the fridge and for the pantry but one thing at a time. I'm just looking at my eyebrows. I just got them done. So happy with them. Hope I didn't get a ticket. I didn't. It's currently. Ah, this always happens. I always get my hair caught in the freaking window. Wait. It's currently like. 4 30 ish i've been running around all day wait i love my eyebrows she's amazing we had to bring my dog to the vet because he has kennel cough he needed to get some medicine um what else and i stopped at my mom's house and hung out with her and my grandma and my sister for a little bit and then i got my eyebrows done i have to figure out how to do this sit He hates it. So, should I put it on a treat? 
How cute are these? I have two of these jars for his treats. I'm pretty sure we got them from Petco. Okay. And then he likes these a lot. So, I wanted to film a little haul since I've been away. I have a few packages, plus I went shopping the other day. I absolutely love Misa. They sent me this gorgeous, like, not gold, but like shimmery. It looks silver on the camera, but it's, it's more like warm. I really love this like square neck. This is the back. So it has cutouts in the front, which I think is really cute. Let me get organized. Hold on. Next is Split 59. Love this activewear brand. I wear their sports bras basically every day. They're so comfortable. The fabric they use. Like a beautiful cream color. I love their tank tops. This is a size small. Sent me a really cool like forest green set. Like a longer sports bra. Kind of the same size as this little top. Which is from Brandy, by the way. Ooh. They have these little leg holes. I mean, leg holes. Foot holes in them. I love this color. The fabric is so yummy. Like, it's good to wear, not even for working out. Just kind of like around the house. I bought three different tights from Sheer Tex. I subscribed to their emails, even though I never bought anything. And I got an email that they were having a sale. So I thought, okay, perfect time to try. So I got like this chocolatey brown color that I think is gonna be super pretty. I'm really into wearing just like neutrals, dark browns. I think there was like a two for one deal or something. Not three. Black, it looks really short. Okay, it's super stretchy. I think this is gonna be really good, especially for fall. Like, you know in LA it doesn't get that cold, but it does get chilly. So just for wearing with like little skirts. Not me sitting like a pretzel, okay. So this one has the back seam, which I thought would be really cute. I thought it was gonna be really cute. There we go. I feel like I'm really gonna like these. I like wearing tights. Growing up in the city, I don't know. I feel like I just always wore tights and I'm just excited to dress for fall again. I am. Also, <laughs> I bought a few things from Fit with Cambry. I bought her de bloat pills because I love them and also I wanted to try her glowing green goddess and it was on sale so I bought it and then she reached out to me and was like hey can I send you some products and I was like I just bought some so that's really sweet she sent me her vanilla protein powder and I used this like a few years ago I think when I was like a freshman in college when I was like trying to like pretend I was on my workout grind and I just completely wasn't but it did taste really good so I'm excited so I have a few of these deep bloat pills and I actually really love them. I take them at like 5 p.m. and then when you wake up and your dresser stomach is so flat and it just really works. I don't take them every day. I'll just take them when I'm bloated or if I have a shoot or something the next day. So I went to Sephora. I just got on TikTok. I haven't been, I don't know. I was just like slow to change. I'm, used to instagram i like instagram but recently i've been getting on tiktok and my whole for you page is like makeup and skin cycling and stuff like that and i've been really struggling with my skin since i've been traveling so much and just like lacking a routine and my skin has been like taking the brunt of it i just have like texture my hypo pigmentation is really like flaring up so my like sunspots i think most of you know i'm not really a makeup girl i don't like i'm just not good at it and i think it's because i grew up with the hypopigmentation where like i never really knew how to find my shade would watch makeup artists use like seven different colors to match my skin tone and i was just like that's too fucking much like i'd rather just not but now i'm really trying to take the bull by the horns i'm like i'm done with this i don't want to struggle with it anymore i made a dermatologist appointment so hopefully we'll be able to fix that i also made a facial appointment so i'll let you know how that goes and I'm just kind of done. I want to like be a makeup girly. It looks fun. For, don't laugh at me. I feel like it's embarrassing that I got this. But I barely own any makeup brushes. If I own any, they're from my mom that I've stolen or she's given me. So I bought this set from Sephora. But I should be covered. It includes powder, blush, foundation, concealer, shadow crease, and brow, bush, br and brow brushes, bitches. Then... 
I've heard so much about the, I don't know how to pronounce this, Laneige, Laneige lip mask. And this one TikToker girl I follow says she uses it, uses it as, as lip gloss because it just stays on since it's a lip mask. Mmm, smells really fucking good. Oh wait, I got a lip liner. I should put that on first. See, I don't really know what I'm doing. I've never had lip liner also because I just, I don't know. Like I just have watched makeup artists like mix and match and this and that. And I was just like, it's too much. Like that's why I created my lip gloss line because I was like, I just want to make it easy. But like I said, makeup girlies look like they're having so much fun. So I want to try it too. I got the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Honey. Next, I got the Kosas Concealer, which I was inspired by TikTok. I already used the Kosas um, Skin Oil. I got Beauty Blenders, Sephora brand. It was cheaper. Why are Beauty Blenders so expensive? Who knows? Okay, I got the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. That's about it for my haul. Oh, well, actually, we went to Petco because I needed to get Suki a collar since he's never had one. And I want to give him a hug. Thanks, Super Luke. Little pink tag. Even though he's a boy, it doesn't matter. I wanted to just comment. My eyebrows look so amazing. I'm so happy with how they turned out. They're not filled in at all. <sighs> I'm so just like... You know when it's just like you just don't feel settled or like you know what the fuck's going on in your life like you graduated college and it's like you're here now what the fuck and also like i didn't major in business or you know anything that has like a clear trajectory i majored in sociology with a minor in philosophy like what the fuck are you supposed to do with that and like obviously in college and like since i was a teenager i've been modeling and doing influencer stuff but I've just been really struggling with it. I don't know, like, I downloaded Instagram when I was 12. I was in the seventh grade, but like as a teenager, like 16, 17, 18, I was basically posting like bikini pics and like, I don't know, like that's just not me anymore. That's not the type of content I wanna put out. Most engagement I get anyway is when I'm like half naked posting. And like, I really liked doing that when I was 17, 18, 19, like I was happy posting bikini pics, even lingerie pics. And now I'm just like, I don't know. That's just not really me anymore. Like I'm 22, about to be 23. And now that I'm not producing that, it's like I don't get as much engagement. And then it's like, okay, what's the point? Am I putting out content for other people or for me? That makes me happy. So you've probably noticed, like I haven't been posting a lot. I'm like not a TikTok person really. Everything I post, my little sister says is cringe. So I'm like, clearly I'm not getting that. There's so many influencers now. There's so many content creators. It's like, where do I fit? What am I putting out that's special? What am I like bringing to the table? Why should somebody even follow me? I'm just like struggling. I listened to Mariana, I think her last name's Hewitt, the founder of Summer Fridays, the skincare. Um, I listened to her podcast about like resetting. She made a podcast about like coming back from vacation or whatever trip and like just not feeling settled, just your brain feels scrambled and jumbled. And like, that's how I feel. I've been abroad for almost like six months now. I just feel like my life is all up in the air and it's like, where is it gonna fall? What do I do? What the fuck am I gonna do? I brought up her podcast because it was really helpful. Uh, I think the biggest thing I took away from her podcast, she gave a bunch of steps of like how to kind of ground yourself again. And something I took away from it was her idea of journaling. And I think what stood out to me the most is that journaling always seemed kind of like, I don't know, intimidating. Cause it's like, oh, what the fuck am I gonna write? Like, I'm not a good writer. I can't creative write, like, what am I gonna do? And so she said that what she does is like at night, as a part of her nighttime routine is she brain dumps. And I was like, okay, that sounds easy. I could do that. And like, what's good for me is making lists. When I feel super scrambled, I like to make a list. What do I have to do tomorrow? What would I like to do? So I kind of just, you know, brain dump everything in my head. Just write it all the fuck down. And it really has been helping me. Brain dumping, journaling, 
making lists that's what helps me the most and has been helping me and just like cleaning getting back into a routine i had zero skincare routine zero diet routine uh zero sleep schedule yeah now i'm becoming an early bird which i like i get more done i get better sleep i'm a i'm a 10 hour bitch i need 10 fucking hours of sleep eight hours is too little no i need 10 hours and i think realizing that and having a good nighttime routine has been helpful the past two days and i think will be helpful for like my future i feel like this vlog is all over the place i'm just kind of venting but maybe it's relatable i am happy though with myself that i'm not just like being inauthentic and like just putting out content just to put it out and like doing whatever like you know just seeing like okay this looks like it's uh, people are doing well with this so I'm gonna do it too like no I've actually been taking my you know time off trying to figure it out I feel like I haven't gotten anywhere but I'm trying <laughs> and like I really do like I crave working I love working I've been working since I was 15 years old but I just don't know what is my passion I think that's the bottom line what the fuck is my passion because just like mindlessly posting and you know mindlessly doing anything it's not fulfilling at all maybe i'm just like i need therapy anyway look at the sunset all right i realize this has been like seven minutes uh this is way too fucking long of me just ranting so i'm gonna take suki out and i'll probably see you guys tomorrow for my haircut I mean, the way my doormen see me coming out of the house every day, it's just not acceptable, I don't think. I've just showered and gotten dressed. Hi, buddy. Now I have a meeting in like an hour that I just need to prepare for really quickly, but first, I found my old camera from when I was like, I don't even know. I must have been like 10. So, I bought, um, a charger on eBay for it because I had a battery and I'm really curious to see if it works on <gasps> it doesn't have the little like button that this camera does fuck do I look at the photos oh here we go <gasps> oh my god it's my mom oh look how cute my mom looks Okay, it must not have been 10. Oh, 2010. Never mind. I'm 10. Wait, this is Diana's birthday, August 23rd. <laughs> so my mom bought this was her camera, clearly. Oh my god. Hi, Dad. Where are we? So little. Oh my god. Oh, I think this is Jamaica. Wait, this is so exciting. And my grandma. My great grandma passed away when I was eight, I think. This is on my mom's side. My Dutch family. 
who cut my hair into bangs and then straightened them? Who did that? Excuse me? <gasps> Ooh, I went to the inauguration. Obama and Michelle. Me, eight years old, with my camera at the inauguration. I can't. of Project Runway when she was a judge. Me in the background. Rachel Roy, she's pouring wine into a teacup. She's such a mood. Pinkini, remember how hard those popped off? In the back it looked like a bikini and it looked like a skirt. It's my uncle. Ah, this is the day Tallulah was born. Hey, my dad. Always doing business. A boogie! Handsome! <laughs> Me with my freaking flip phone razor. Motorola razor. Bedazzled. I don't know if you can tell that it's bedazzled. Look at me just holding it like that. What is that pose? Let me stop procrastinating and prepare for this little meeting. Then pack and then go meet in it. I always look so crazy the first time I come down for Suki's walk. And then I look to me like a whole other person. So. They really see it all. My camera died, but I finished my meeting and now I'm packing up to go meet Innes. And then we're going on a horror night, so I'm packing up my outfit. It's Innes's, but I don't really wear it anymore and I like it, so. I'm done with my makeup look. I quickly did a makeup look with the um, stuff I got from Sephora. Literally, it's still yeah. in the bag. I'm not mad at it. Innes has never seen me with lip liner on or lipstick, so he's like, I think I think I look pretty. You look pretty. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> Fuck you. You know he was lying, right? Hey, hi, gorgeous. I look like you know me. Huh? What's that? What's that? What do you mean? We're just recording a video. You. She's pretending like she doesn't know what a video is. What are you talking about? Hi guys. <laughs> I think I look pretty. Literally, yeah, fuck yeah. you. I'm just not used to it. Can't kiss me. Let's kiss. It's too red. I have no mascara on, and I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Let's do? Oh, oh, cute! Again, again, again. Do it again. Yeah? Yes? Yes? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to wear this, but everybody's telling me it's too much. The problem is I didn't bring anything else. Oh, see? Emma, do you like this outfit? <laughs> 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 you think it's too much? That's way too much. Wait, what about the shoes? Say. Nick, I just said Do you like it? Yeah, I'm like. Me too. I'm not the I'm like. You understand it. Okay. But what shoes we need to I couldn't decide which shoe, so. I'm gonna just do both, I guess. The tea is, I'm really happy with how the makeup. Don't mind that pimple. Is making my skin look. It's the Kosas concealer. Don't mind on the bones. Okay, it looks better in person. It's the Kosas Concealer and the Kosas Tinted Oil. I should have brought the freaking, um, what did I? <gasps> I brought the translucent powder. Let's try it. 
Oh, this is really great news for me. Literally strap the fuck up. No little zombies or whatever can come for me. No one is gonna fuck me up tonight. They don't fleek. The fuck? Seriously. The fuck? Oh. And folks, the price of admission? Your life. What the fuck? <laughs> It's Sunday. I forgot to take out my phone even at all yesterday, but it's okay because I was just hung over and I was literally in my pajamas all day. Um, we did watch Don't Worry Child and it was so good. The ending was not what I expected. Actually, I didn't really know what to expect the whole movie, but I really liked it. Um, it's 4.36. I'm driving home from my mom's photo shoot. Get close in a little bit more. Oh my god, I'm loving those. They're gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. I don't think she said what it is she's shooting for yet, so I'm not gonna say, but I'm really, really excited, and you guys are gonna completely love it. She's so gorgeous, the photos are amazing. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this podcast. Do I even know what's going on? I got home. I don't know, I've just been so exhausted. It's like 9.45 right now. But what I did do is I organized like everything. My organizers came from Amazon. Let me show you what I've done. So in our little pantry, organized all the supplements, teas and gum, and um, I can't think of the name of that, cough drops. This is Sedvita, which is like a Bosnian, like, I don't know, like Sunny D type of thing. And then, water bottles, all of our snacks. These are snacks that need to be cooked, like microwaved. And little cookies, Bosnian cookies, and just some things. Then, I'm really happy with this. This is my little breakfast station. This is for matcha. These are Fit with Cambry products. This is her green glowing goddess powder. This is her vanilla protein powder, which tastes really good, and it smells delicious. And just brown sugar and just some condiments for making the smoothies, bread and rice, and where to put it. Oh yeah, got these little things, which you saw the little powders in. Put the rest of our pasta in here. This is supposed to be here. And it's, um strainers my heating pad which comes in so clutch our knives which just came in uh cutting boards this is needs to be put away oh i should tell you we tried oh oh my god look at the fridge wait oh, i'm so happy with it so we are trying hello fresh this week and this is not sponsored literally i'm the one who has been influenced i've heard it just like on everyone I don't know. I feel like I've heard it on podcasts. I've heard it on YouTube videos. So you know what? I'm trying it. It is made a delicious chicken coconut curry situation. What could I? Last but not least, I organized our bathroom. So I'm going to show you what it looked like before. I don't have a picture or anything. Here I have skincare like face masks. Here I have everyday skincare. Um, here I have the disposable face towels. Anything to do with our mouth. Um, just, I don't know, random stuff. Sunscreen, deodorant, uh, lotion. I really wanted to get rid of the container for the uh, Q-tip, so I just put all of them in this thing. It's kind of extra, but whatever. And it's his shaving stuff, his hair stuff, my hair stuff pretty much it and then down here is all of our extra products so tampons and just extra stuff 
some makeup um and just our like travel cases most of my makeup's in here um and then i have my skin fridge but i need to set it up and i just like don't know where to put it so i don't know because i i want to keep it down here but then it's gonna look weird with the wire coming down i don't really know um but other than that everything is organized in our apartment except for the closet so hopefully i can do that tomorrow and then i'll feel just like good and done and then this week will just be over i can just feel like i don't know settled and organized and like i can get my life back on track and like get back into the swing of things so i'm really excited for that so i think i'm going to close out this video here if you made it to the end of this thank you so much i know it was kind of all over the place and i'm really 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 excited to just get back into the groove of things make more videos i love watching people's vlogs on youtube so i think that's uh the basis for what i'm gonna do like daily vlogs and weekly vlogs um we're gonna see how editing goes i enjoy editing though so i think it'll be fun um and yeah thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you soon oh and let me know like I like watching vlogs and stuff, but let me know what you guys like watching. Um, and give me some inspo if there's certain things you want to see, people you want to see in my videos. Let me know. Alright, love you.